show you a useful add-on that students can use. Um, it's called Slides Translator. So in order for students to access um, slide add-ons or doc add-ons, they're going to open up the actual program. So open up a Google Slideshow and up here at the top, they're going to go where it says add-ons. You're going to have them come down to where it says get add-ons and they're going to search for Slides Translator right up here. Slides Translator. So once they see it, they select this little icon. There's a little um, orange icon with a plus. They're gonna select it. And then they have to actually click the blue install button until it continue. This is available to our students. So they are able to do that just like you would. Let me make sure I can grab here. Say this is me. And make sure to allow this. So once they've done that, it's gonna show up in their add-ons. So let me go back to my presentation and I'll show you a little bit about how they might use this. So once they're now in, it'll be there forever for it, once they install it. They only have to do that once, but when they wanna use it, they'll come up to the add-ons within a slide and you'll notice that it's now in their menu. So slides translator. So they have some options. They can translate a text box they can do voice typing in the sidebar or they can have a voice typing as a um, floating bar. And so let me go ahead and type in the box over here. So I chose translate selected text box. So let's say I wanted to um, select this text box and I want to translate that into Spanish is probably, is it up here? Oh, there we go, it's up at the top. So I'm gonna say Spanish and then I'm gonna say translate. So this will translate what was over here, over on the right hand side. Um, what they could also do is, let's say that I wanted to be able to answer something on this slide, let me insert a new slide. I wanted to be able to speak to text. I can come and I can say add on slides translator and I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose the floating bar so that I can just move it around and keep it up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it that I'm going to speak in English. I could speak in Spanish. I can't, but I could. Um, so I'm going to speak in English. I'm going to click the microphone. And what this allows it to do is it's going to record what I say. And when I say stop or when I click the microphone, it's going to add that text into this box. And obviously that is too big. But so you can see now I can use it as a speech to text. Obviously, they'll have to go and, you know, do some editing as far as the grammar, but it's an easy way to speak to text and it show up here. Okay, so again, if I then needed to highlight this, I could go back to my add-on, I could go to Slides Translator, and I could tell that to translate that text into whatever I might need. If I needed to translate it again into Spanish, I can click that and say Translate, and it'll put it right over here. Um, and if I needed to, I could copy and paste the text in Spanish into that text box. So maybe this might help some of your EL learners or um, some of the students who need to have a voice typing feature pop up within Google Slides.